Hi, I'm Larry Stewart. I'm editor with Four Construction Pros in the John Deere booth at ConExpo ConAg 2011, looking at what is uh, uh, turning out to be a, a pretty routine uh, announcement made uh, these days in the construction equipment world, a hybrid wheel loader. But this one's different. This is the Deere 944K, uh, a whole new size class for Deere. I'm with John Testerman. He's the product marketing manager for wheel loaders for John Deere, and he's going to tell us about how this system works, because it is different from what we've seen before and what it means to contractors. John? Yeah, this, this first off, Larry, this loader is our largest loader that Deere's ever produced. It is, it's meant for quarry applications at the pit face, primarily loading trucks that are going to be feeding crushing operations, so the production size of the quarry. And um, the main thing is, is we've elected to use you know, a hybrid electric drivetrain for this machine. We're planning on, uh, our, our target is to have this machine available in 2013, but we have to make sure it's ready for customers, and that's a key thing for this market. Why we chose hybrid electric drivetrain is this system, we can provide much better fuel efficiency that's outside the limits of a traditional drivetrain. So how this works is we have an engine that's running at a constant engine speed. It's running generators. Uh, the generators then, and uh, of course, are feeding electrical power to four individual wheel motors. So this has wheel motors basically inside of each tire, and there's uh, a planetary drives. But what that allows us to do is individually feed the power to each wheel. We can also control traction. So if a wheel would get loose, we can control it and make sure it doesn't spin too fast, which is going to save the customers a bunch of tire wear. Okay. Now, uh, which was one of your criteria, if I understand correct, from customers were saying cut down our tire wear, Yeah, right? cut down the tire wear, because you got to think these machines, they work really hard to get into a pit face to dig the rock away, uh, shot, shot rock, and the thing is this tire wear is a big expense for our customers. Now, um, we're, we're using the term diesel-electric hybrid, and I've heard uh, Deere's definition of that, but there's one thing we should make sure that we, we make, make explicit from the, from the outset. This, this machine doesn't actually uh, store energy. No, not at this time, and I mean, at this time, uh, of course, there's a lot of work on uh, energy storage, but it's not economical for uh, heavy construction machinery at this time. But when that technology does become economical, we can implement it, of course, with the electric system. So it's not we're ignoring it, but the key thing is, is you know, as opposed to some on-road things, it's not quite there. Now, one of the things is we are recapturing kinetic energy. Loaders do a lot of cycling. They go back and forth. And what's right. the operator do when he wants to reverse? He steps on the brakes. And when he steps on the brakes, he's just sending energy directly into heat and the axles. Well, the point is, is of course, with this system, when someone starts stepping on the brakes, of course, we are electrically, dynamically braking. Well, that's going into the system. It's keeping the engine speed up. And a lot of times, if a guy's backing away from a face, he's going to feed a truck. Well, he's going to be raising the boom at the same time. So there's work being done by the machine so we can capture some of that energy. So those were some of the fuel savings are coming from outside of the, the efficiency of the electric drive system. I see. So obviously in a, in a normal app, like a conventional application, while it, when he's raising that boom up, he could be lugging that engine down. Yeah. And you're uh, basically saying that, that in this case, you're doing all that same work, but you're not lugging the engine down because you're capturing some, some uh, yeah, electro- Yeah, we're, we're getting some kind of, of that energy back, okay. you know, and that's, that's one of the areas. The other thing is, is that running that engine at a constant speed, we can run at a very efficient constant speed, and from the standpoint, it's always uh, it's always going to be responsive. The turbos are spooled up and so on. Mm -hmm. And the key thing is, is a, a lot of loaders have very, very, very large engines, but that's because they drop way in RPM, and then the guy steps on the throttle and wants to rev, do raise the boom, reverse the direction, really high load, and that's where right. they need this big, big grunt of an oversized engine. But people pay for it in cost and fuel. Other things that we've done is, is this has our quad cool style cooling, plenum cooling system on it with our swing out fan. And that's uh, on our deer line almost from top to bottom. But what it is, it's a very resistant to, cool, to cooler plugging and that all our air is drawn through uh, wide open side shields. They have three millimeters holes, but they're very large areas. So it keeps air velocity down so we're not vacuuming debris in. And anything that passes through that, that side shield will pass through the coolers and then it goes out the fan in the back and on top of that, this has an optional reversing fan. So that can be set to manually reverse, or excuse me, automatically reverse 10, 20, 30 minutes. But the point is, is why you reverse is you slow it down your reverse, you get that dust out while it's nice and soft. Okay. 
because if you think about it, you'll park the machine, it sits overnight, it rains, dews on it. That dirt just keeps building and building, and I guess to say is eventually, yeah, it has to be blown out or cleaned out, and then it's a real chore. This way, we're trying to minimize the debris buildup in the coolers.